Joining me on the phone now is the former senior investigating officer in James Bulger's murder, Albert Kirby. Mr Kirby, many thanks for joining us this evening. What's your reaction to this news? Well, I'm absolutely amazed, to be quite honest. And I, I understand um, James's parents and what they're saying. Um, I fully support that. But I look upon it from perhaps a little bit of a different perspective. Um, I know that when he was released in 2001, there was a lot of concern. He wasn't really ready to make that transition. I think the conditions and the implementation um, of his parole were, were woefully inadequate to house him, and this is in the public domain, in an area which really abuts uh, the Liverpool Merseyside area. And his whole protection, his whole welfare was just not uh, catered for. And prior to his release for the um, uh, indecency offences, and as you said in your piece there, they weren't just voyeur offences, they were of the most serious nature, what he was doing. There were so many warning signs there that for his safety, he should have been brought back in um, to custody. Why, why do you think the Ministry of Justice thinks he's no longer a danger to the community? Um, to my mind, it just beggars belief. Because when you know and when you study and you speak to people who do understand these issues, um, that it wasn't like breaking into a car or a shop and then having your license revoked. There was a whole series of events from drinking to drugs to fighting um, and then for the indecency. And I think um, that at the time of the indecency offences, he was more or less crying out to be arrested and brought in. And when you look at the sexual connotations of those offences and what happened over 20 years ago, I am absolutely amazed that a decision has been made to parole him at this stage. I never want, never have been that you lock somebody up and throw away the key, but I think there's too much of a catalogue of bad decision makings that have been made over this, and I'm just concerned that the amount of time they've had from re-arrest and the observations that were made then to now is just too short. He's had no opportunity of any transition back into the community at all.